If you are a proud owner of the Extel P2 CO2 laser, or maybe you've got one on order, or maybe, maybe you're thinking of getting one, today's video is absolutely essential to watch, as you do really need to look after your machine. So I'm gonna show you my maintenance routine, what I do to keep it to a level where it's gonna operate as its best, as there's few steps you need to follow on regular basis to make sure this machine runs smoothly and it doesn't break on you unexpectedly. Welcome to my workshop. You are watching Casual DIY channel. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what accessories I use to clean out my laser. Paper towels to clean out the exterior and the interior of the machine. Latex gloves when we're gonna be cleaning the mirror and the lens as well, very important. So we're not gonna leave any fingerprints or grease from our fingers. 70% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. And actually to clean the lens itself and the mirrors, I'm gonna be using eyeglass cleaning wet wipes as well, I do have quite a lot of them and they really do the job very, very well. First of all, make sure your machine is disconnected from power. With some paper towels and a bit of rubbing alcohol, I'm just gonna wipe the exterior of the machine as it is located in my woodworking workshop so it does get covered with a bit of sawdust. So it's important to keep it clean and tidy. Next, I'm gonna remove all the slats and clean them out with paper towels and a bit of rubbing alcohol. Next, you just want to clean out the interior of the machine. Best to do it with a hoover, all the dust, all the particles and all the cutoffs that are located inside, you can get rid of quite easily with that. And then all the components in there that do require a bit more attention, well, again, paper towel and a bit of rubbing alcohol and give it a wipe. Right, we've done the easy part. Now it's time to get a little bit more technical, but don't be scared. It is a simple process that you will get better at the more times you do it. Okay, so now we need to clean the mirrors. In this machine, we've got three mirrors and one of them is located at the back of the machine behind this plastic cover. And if you've got this machine, you already know this and you also know that it's actually quite hard to get to as how this plastic cover is designed. I think you've got one, two, three, four, five screws at the back and when you lift the hood, you've got another five at the front that you need to undo to be able to take off the panel. Fortunately enough, you don't have to do this that often, okay? The mirror behind here is not really affected that much by the fumes, uh, by the dust and everything else. So my ratio is every four times I clean um, the mirrors inside and the lens, then I clean the one at the back, so it's not too bad. So I'm gonna take the back panel and I'm gonna show you where the lens is and how to clean it. Removing the plastic panel itself could be a little bit tricky. So what do you need to do? Right at the back, put your fingers in that hole and lift that plastic cover up. Put a upwards pressure and as you are pulling it up, you just wiggle uh, the brackets out just like so. With practice, it really does get easy. Okay, now is a good time to actually put your uh, rubber gloves on and the mirror in question is just over here next to the tank itself. It's all held by magnets, so you just need to take it out carefully. There you go. And that's the mirror. And as you can see, it's actually pretty clean. As I said, it doesn't get dirty that often. And with a wipe, we can now clean the mirror itself. Right, with the mirror cleaned, now I can put it back where it was. As you can see, I do have a notch over here. That means it only goes in one way. sprung back to its place, make sure it's nice and stable, and we are done with the first mirror. So I can put the plastic cover back in place. Now the other two mirrors are far more accessible. You lift the hood, remove 
that piece of plastic cover that's just at the front of the machine. And what you need to do now is pull the gantry forwards. Do it slowly so you don't damage the motors, just like so. And over here, we've got the second mirror. Again, you can quite easily remove it, take it out. Got good access to it. There you go. I'm going to clean it out in circular motions, just like so. And when it's nice and clean, we can put it back. Again, you do have this little notch here that indicates the correct position of this mirror. There we go. It's jumped into the right place and that is now ready. Now it's time to clean the third mirror that's located just over here and the lens itself. I do suggest you put something just underneath it so we're not gonna lose any of our parts. I'm just using a piece of plywood, but you could use cardboard or anything else. So position uh, the gantry and the head itself more or less in the middle, okay? It's just for easy access. Now the covers themselves are actually held by magnets so you can quite easily take them off. Um, the top one, depending, Sometimes it slides quite easily, sometimes you just need to wiggle it out. Now, the third mirror is located just over here, and over here we do have the nozzle and the lens itself, okay? Over here we've got the camera, we've got the motor over here, and we've got another camera just over here. So, as we are in this position, I'm actually going to clean the cameras, okay? Again, our wipes, just gonna clean the camera from any dust or anything else, any debris. Same thing with the wide angle camera. I'm just gonna wipe it off so we've got a nice view. And next we can take out the third mirror and give it a clean. And as you can see, this one is actually quite dirty. So we need to clean it out. There you go perfectly clean. What you want to do as well, you can clean the inside out. If you can see any debris, any dust inside, you can clean this out. But for me, it's actually quite tidy inside, so that's all right. I'm gonna put it back in place. There we go. And now it's time for the lens and the nozzle. So the lens and the nozzle are located in this part, this section over here. So we've got two screws that we need to remove. And now when you pull this forward, it just slides out. There you go, we've got the lens inside. That's the hose for the air assist. For ease of access and cleaning this out, we're gonna take off um, the air assist hose. And to do that, you just need to press on that plastic ring to release the hose itself. There we go, that's out. Now I can actually see on the lens, it is fairly dirty, okay? So we need to clean it out. Over here at the top, we've got this metal ring with two notches on each side, and we basically just need to undo it, okay? So with your fingernail, just undo that metal part that's holding the lens. It should come off quite easily. There we go. Remember, the notches go upwards, okay? We can place it on the side. On top of it, you can see the white rubber ring um, that's holding the lens itself. So basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop it up like that. So this is like a plastic washer. And this is our lens. Now this lens has one side flat and the other one is bowing slightly. And that needs to go upwards as you're gonna be installing this back. However, let's give it a clean first. Now make sure you do use some gloves when you are cleaning the mirrors and the lens itself. If you don't have them, uh, just make sure not to touch the mirrors 
or the lens itself. You need to hold it by the edges. And there we go, squeaky clean. Right, now we can clean the nozzle. As you can see, I do have a bit of debris on this. So I'm gonna give it a wipe, try to remove as much as I can. And now it's nice and clean. Right, with everything nice and clean, let's put it back together. The nozzle itself, first of all, the lens. Remember, the flat bottom goes first and just wiggle it inside, okay? Tap it into place. There we go, that's inside. Now, the plastic white washer. And finally, the metal ring with the notches facing up. And just screw it back in. Now, don't put too much pressure, don't screw it too hard, you don't want to break the lens. This ring is there just to hold the lens as the machine operates. The harder you do it, you are risking damaging the lens and then you're gonna have a harder job of actually removing the lens and cleaning it out. I can put back the air assist hose and we're gonna slide this part back in where it was. And with the two screws, we can secure it in place. And don't forget about the covers. And there you go guys, that's the process I follow to keep this machine clean and operating at its best. And it's really important to do that. If you don't clean it on a regular basis, then you may end up actually damaging the machine or having really, really poor results when cutting and engraving. Now, the most important question is, how often do you actually need to clean this laser out like this? Well, that depends. Depends how much do you actually use it. If it's a full-time job operation where this machine runs for most of the day, well, the routine is you should be doing this more or less every day, at the start of your day or at the end of it, okay? At least with the two mirrors at the front, the nozzle and the lens itself. Back mirror itself, as I said, you doesn't have to be cleaned that often. Every four times you clean the front, then you clean the back as well. If you use this machine occasionally, couple of hours here and there, obviously you wouldn't have to clean the machines so often. However, after 10 to 12 hours of running this machine, I would definitely clean the mirrors at the front and the lens itself. Now, if you don't have this machine yet and you're quite curious of what it can do, I've actually made a few videos on it already. I've done a massive performance video to showcase you how it performs and what they can do. I'm going to leave links to all my videos on this machine down below in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. On top of it, you can check out the description of this video for some links with uh, current discounts on this fantastic machine. If you do have a small business or a business of any type, any size, this is absolutely a fantastic tool to have. It can speed up your work, create um, new products, and it's just all around fantastic tool to have. It works great without a flaw, and the software that the company provides for it is really simple to use and does have plenty of options to make your life a lot easier. For today, guys, that's all. If you've got any questions, you know where the comment section is. And I hope to see you on my next video. Take care.